Oh, it's the furniture. <laughs> yeah, like foundation. It's one of these. Welcome to the new vlog. My living room looks like Christmas came and threw up all over it and I'm so happy about it. Towards the end of my Thanksgiving break, I had a realization that I only have a month until Christmas. So as soon as I got home, I was just speeding through the decoration process. I ordered this on Amazon, went to Home Goods and got all these pillows and blankets and mini Christmas tree and ornaments and I just I can't believe I only have a month until Christmas. I forgot that having my own place meant I can honestly start decorating for Christmas whenever I want. And I should have started earlier. I still have to put the ornaments and decorate the tree, which we will probably get to do together in this vlog. I just wanted to start off the vlog talking about how excited I am about Christmas. A lot of people in real life and online have been telling me how I look slimmer and what I've been doing. The truth is, I just haven't been eating as well. It's the skinniness that comes with living alone. Like it's, I feel like it's so inevitable when you first start living alone. Away from the school cafeteria feeding you all the time, away from your family packing up food for you, I truly have nothing but myself to feed myself. And I think the main problem at the moment is I've been putting off cleaning out the fridge. I have so much food in there that I can't eat anymore. So my fridge is full. So it makes me feel like I can make something with the food in my fridge, but I really can't because there's very few ingredients in there that I can actually still use. And this is all because I was away for Thanksgiving. But I woke up craving a katsu, so I just ordered myself one because I cannot be starving. I'm not sure if I talked about it yet in a vlog, but I also got a new coffee table. I got it off of Facebook marketplace, but it worked out perfectly because the furniture itself is from Urban Outfitters Home. I've been on that website looking for a table and I thought this one was really cute except it was really expensive. But I was browsing on Facebook marketplace and I came across the exact same furniture I was looking at for like $200 cheaper. So that was a steal. The Spotify wrap came out yesterday. And honestly, I'm pretty surprised. Like, I got very unexpected artists and songs in my top lane. My top genre was rap. Top song was Nobody Gets Me by SZA. Listen to it 175 times. That's insane. The top songs, 21 by Gracie Abrams. What Was I Made For, Billie Eilish. Now That We Don't Talk, Taylor Swift. This song came out a month ago and it made it on my top list. Insane. Martin and Gina by Polo G. And my top artists, Taylor Swift, SZA, Drake, Crazy Abrams, and Fifth this little baby. Like, what? I have to eat this really quickly and then get ready because I have a meeting that I have to be at in downtown LA in about 49 minutes. Quickly getting ready for this meeting. I don't want to dress up like a bum, but I also know that I don't necessarily have to dress up. It's a very casual meeting at a cafe, so I know I don't have to dress up, but I also don't want to look like this, like in a sweatsuit. So I'm trying to think what I should wear. Like, do I want to be cool or do I want to dress normal? I never know. Like a blazer and a tracksuit pants. Like, is that too much? Or is that cool? This stick, by the way, is like foundation slash concealer stick. And it's so good. It's been my favorite makeup product. I've never been into a stick product, but this just blends so well. It looks so natural on your skin. Like, it really doesn't feel like anything. Alright, that's it for makeup. This is all I could afford to do. Face pants. Blazer. Tube top. 
This is the look, but I'm not feeling it, so let me change my pants. Ended up changing again because I realized I've never worn this jacket this fall. And these shoes from Gloney. Oh my god, when did they get so... Ugh, I changed again. But this is my final look. because I'm going to an event with my friend he invited me to go as a plus one so I'm going I honestly don't even know what this event is but it is at a cafe so we'll find out together I called an uber the place is not far away at all it's still in K-Town but he was passing by and he was like I don't think there's a lot of parking spots left so I thought it would be safer to just Uber and not have to worry about finding a parking spot. Feeling so cozy, I'm wearing the same tube top and then the sweatpants from Gloney, Uggs, and then this leather jacket that I've been loving this season. I attached this furry collar to it because I've been wearing it without the furry collar because I thought the fur made it too like wintry, but it's getting colder and I thought this was a nice little touch to the look. I was at a cafe called Six Sense. They had a very wholesome event where we just got to know other creators. And I actually met a friend that I didn't expect to see there, so that was a lot of fun. And they let us leave with goodie bags. So they have a cafe and across the street they have like an interior store and like a clothing brand. They have furniture, like cute plates, dishware, silverware. I wanted to go through the goodie bag they gave me. Souf is like their sister brand. They gave us this Los Angeles Club hat, which is very cute. They have a pair of socks. Feels really nice. And this plate. I think they said these were cups with their initials on it. Oh my. Guys. I've always wanted these cups. Oh my god, how cute. This one has my initial. I totally forgot to bring my camera out, but today's Haley's birthday party and my goal is to get her a really cute cake. So I'm gonna go line up at this cake cafe that I talked about in my last vlog, Haru, and see if I can snatch a whole cake. I'm kinda scared that there might be a really long line, but hopefully not. I just got back from Pilates. I'm going to wrap Haley's gifts. Get ready and then head out to go help Haley set up for her birthday party. Order a couple things for Haley's birthday gifts, and I fully expected them to come after the party. So I was like, you know what? Her birthday is actually not even until end of December. I'll just give it to her when it's near her birthday, and go to the birthday party with like a card and a, a cake. But one of them magically showed up at my door today. But I don't have cute wrapping supplies because I didn't expect to be wrapping gifts today. I have like a bunch of ribbons, which is good. I had tissue paper from my previous packages. So I'm gonna pull that out and try to use it as like a wrapping paper. today we have we have a suit literally wearing something so similar guys i was in the uber for two hours and i finally made it it's kind of crazy like it's only like 36 miles which is like normal like yeah. so, like school to la is like yeah. 35 miles mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought this was farther too, but two hours. But two hours? Usually with traffic too, it's like an hour, hour and 30 minutes max. max. We're adding hair extensions to her already super duper long hair. Kelly's um, hair extensions. 
hair salon and she's gonna help me. I've never done this, so it's brave of you to trust me. Sophomore year Kelly was crazy. What? She's a little she's more sane now. She's more <laughs> like imagine that, but it was actually wait, your hair was once this long. I don't think it got this ashy bowl. But it was like but it was close. What do you guys think? This is so bad. <laughs> Wait. Wait, it's giving, it's giving Korean vapor. <laughs> Jesse? Okay. And then you can take the next Probably Finn, because last time when I made it, like. This is my most ideal Saturday night, staying home in front of my TV, sitting on the floor. Also, by the way, if you're a floor person, you need to get this little thing. I have a nice couch, but I sometimes just want to sit on the floor and have a coffee table right in front of me and eat, write, be on my computer, watch TV. So this chair is really nice and it's also really good for having people over. It provides extra seating. I made my very first hot cocoa of the season and I'm so excited to drink this. I think it's a little too hot right now. I'm really bad at drinking hot liquids. For today, while I'm alone, I thought, you know, just drink my hot cocoa. I'm also gonna play some Jeremy Zucker live because he was performing live in LA yesterday and I missed it. And I don't mind, I didn't mind missing it because it was Haley's birthday. Oh, by the way, that party was so much fun. I got to meet so many of my school friends that I haven't seen in so long. I also am so thankful that this week I had a couple of events where it forced me to socialize with people and get out of the house and be face to face with people because I don't get that as much anymore. As much as I love being alone, I think I genuinely missed going out and seeing people and meeting people and talking to people. That lifted my spirits up by a lot. I'm so grateful that I got to do that and I'm going to push myself to get out of the house more and meet more people throughout the week. Since I missed the concert, I'm just gonna play like live playlist on YouTube. I don't know if you guys can relate. But this is my healing time where I just like sit with a bunch of things in front of me and I don't necessarily do anything. It's really hard to explain what I'm doing. Like, I want to do a lot of different things in this one seating and I'm not really going to be like productive. I'm just hanging out by myself. I'm listening to music. I also have my laptop in front of me because my most recent hobby has been um, going on Nike and looking for myself so I'm gonna do a little bit of that this evening and then I also have three stacks of journals in front of me because I was home for Thanksgiving and I decided to bring back two of my old journals that I left at home because these like these journals mean so much to me if you've been watching my videos for a long time you know who I am like journals and I cannot be separated they hold so much memory they hold so much growth they hold so much of my hopes and dreams and goals and I want to keep them close to me so that I can always look back and see where I used to be. It's very inspiring. It's also just nice to have these with me so they don't get lost. So I just want to like go through them and see what I can find because every time I look through them I find something new. It's like reading a book but they're all my own thoughts and I might also just journal too in my current journal, but that is my evening. Remember when I went pottery making for my birthday? We're finally picking them up. I was kind of nervous because they weren't contacting us on like when to pick it up, but they finally did five weeks solid five weeks maybe even more maybe even more but we're about to go pick them up and i'm very excited to see how they turned out pottery haul i picked this baby blue color that 
looks like this. I'm at the Grove right now because I need to go get some new shampoo and conditioner. But I've also been wanting a new phone. I don't know if I want one. No, I want one. I don't know if I need one. I just raided my entire closet to find this belt and it ended up being in my other closet anyways I'm going to shoot at Nike I normally wear something really really comfortable to the set like sweatshirt, sweatpants, puffer vest, Uggs but I have another casting to go to after this shoot so I'm gonna dress more like simple and it's really really cold on set so I need to wear something cozy on top in my experience it's not good to have something chunky because I need to be sitting down getting my hair and makeup done so I'm just gonna go for this fleece that I have and hopefully this will keep me warm enough good thing about Nike is they feed me really well and I really just have to wake up and get myself to the set. I'm really gonna go now, but here's my what's in my bag, I guess. I just got this new like tote bag from Songmont because I felt like I needed like a big bag where I can throw in like books, iPads, wallet, charger for shoots. So that's exactly what I have. I have my book, my iPad, my iPad charger, my wallet. I'm gonna take my water bottle and then I have two I'm just gonna take this cardigan for the casting. All right, bye. It's lunchtime. I grabbed my food and I got back into my car. I used to eat inside and it's like a big communal area where you can socialize and eat with a lot of people and that's fine as well. I enjoyed the couple of times that I did eat there. But then this one time after lunchtime, this hair stylist was like, oh yeah, I sat in my car and ate, very peaceful. And I was like, huh, thanks for giving me that idea because I didn't think about sitting in my car for lunch. So I started doing it. Sometimes I'll bring like, I'll call my friends up around the area and be like, hey, come join for lunch. And we just like eat in the car together. But today I'm just eating alone in the car. I'm gonna watch some YouTube on my Tesla. Enjoy my time off. We have like about 30 to 40 minutes off. I'm done with the Nike shoot, but now I have to head to a casting for a makeup brand. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need my iPad for like showing them my portfolio. So I'm gonna charge that because my iPad is always dead conveniently. I told my makeup artist that I had to take off my makeup because I'm heading to a casting for a makeup brand and usually they will put makeup on you so you have to go there fresh faced. And while she was helping me take off my makeup and do my skincare, she asked me what brand it was for and I told her and she was like, oh, I've worked with them before. And she gave me all of these like insider facts and tips. So I feel a little bit better heading there. While I was in the shoot actually, my agent emailed me a very exciting opportunity. So I have to send her a video of my skin and picture of my hands. I'm very insecure about my small stubby hands and my nails are so destroyed right now that I'm scared to send it in because what if they reject me because they don't like my fingers? Mm -hmm. 